Kip up. So on SmackDown, this is the last live SmackDown before Crown Jewel because of the double taping. And they decided to open up SmackDown with Randy Orton trying to get Triple H's attention. Because Randy Orton, if you don't know, the man is trying to get his hands on good old Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens is right. Okay, I'm a Kevin Owens truther. Okay, Kevin Owens is in the right. Kevin Owens does not like how uh, Cody Rhodes went about teaming up Roman Reigns, and I agree with him. So I'm all about team Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens attacked him backstage. Now Randy wants blood, but Randy can't just go to Nick Aldis. Oh no, he has to go to the big man up top for some reason. We found out today. Well, not today, but found out we found out on that day what that reason was. Uh, so Randy Orton goes to the ring, tries to talk to him backstage at first uh, in the gorilla. He came out to the ring and said, all right, Triple H, I need to talk to you. I need you to give me a match against Kevin Owens at Crown Jewel because you are protecting him. Now, Triple H did not want to go out there. He was kind of like, oh, God, what's going on here? I can't believe I deal with this guy. Uh, now, they have history, of course, going back in the day. You know, they have a lot of history there, you know. So he sees them like a big brother. Uh, you know, they have a big a friendship that goes back a long time. So he thinks he, thinks he can call out a good old Hunter and not Paul Avec to have a discussion about why he's protecting Kevin Owens. Cause that's what's happening. According to him, he's protecting him. Unfortunately for Randy, uh, that's not the case. He doesn't, he doesn't have a clue what's happening here. Cause apparently the reason why Triple H did not want to make this match is because Triple H is trying to protect Randy from Kevin Owens. Ooh, we're trying to protect him. Oh my God. He's nervous about Randy Orton's health because the man has like steel rods in his back. He was out for almost two years. Well, year and a half, two years, basically around that time. And he doesn't think Randy Orton can handle a beat down from Kevin Owens in any type of large magnitude because uh, he may be out on the shelf for a long, very long time or be on the shelf for a long time. So doesn't want to have that. Randy Orton didn't try to hear that because Randy Orton is a proud man. He's a, you know, a 16 time champion. Was it 16 times? Something like that. How long, how many championships Randy had? A lot of them. Okay. He's, he's a proud fella. He doesn't want to hear that. Like, okay, Triple H, I hear you. But if you were me, you would do anything you could to get your hands on Kevin Owens. Come on. I'm not talking to Paula Beck. I'm not talking to the CEO or the leader of creative. I'm talking to the man who was the cerebral assassin. Okay. The game. I want to talk to him. And you know what the right thing to do is. You know that I need to have my, get my hands on Kevin Owens. So give him that match. And the crowd was into it, of course. The crowd got loud. He said, fine, okay, I'll do it. But, you know, watch your back. He doesn't feel good about it. He thinks that the fans are pushing for Randy Orton's early retirement because uh, off the rails Kevin Owens is uh, a danger to Randy Orton's health. I like the storyline. This is, without a doubt, the most compelling storyline going into Ground Jewel. It's a low bar. It's unfortunate. It's a low bar. It is the best storyline. For me, because Kevin Owens is in the right. He makes sense, even though he's a heel. It's fun how they've been going about this backstage attacks, I like how they've been presenting that. And Kevin Owens seems to be, you know, making sense with his arguments. All right. To be completely honest with you, Cody Rhodes, he's reached a point with his babyface run that I'm enjoying when people take jabs at him. I'm enjoying when people get the better of him in exchanges and in the fights. He just reached that point where, like, I gotta be honest, the Roman Reigns tag team, like the whole thing with the stadium and Georgia Tech, you know, going to the football stadium, that was like the last straw with me with Cody. Like, Cody, you've worn out your welcome right now. You're on my bad side. Okay, I'm not saying I'm gonna boo him or hope he loses every damn time he fights. But right now, Cody's on the bad side, all right? So I'm 100% team Kevin Owens right now. I'm not really feeling Cody and his stadium's visits with uh, Roman Reigns. Randy is a 14 time world champion. Yeah, I said, I said 16. That's uh, John Cena and uh, Ric Flair, right? Yeah, 14 time. Kevin Owens has some good points. Yep. Now, unfortunately for Randy Orton, the storyline kind of dictates that Randy Orton get the hell beat out of him, right? Yeah, this whole thing where he says, I'm looking out for you, your well being, I'm trying to protect you from him. So now, what's got to happen? Got to get destroyed a little bit? At this point, Randy has to get beat up very badly, almost, you know? to sell this whole narrative that Kevin Owens is a dangerous man and Randy Orton has health concerns in the past and he's worried about Randy Orton. Now I have to have Randy Orton get the hell beat out of him, right? Am I wrong? That's where they had to go. We have to have Randy lose. Well, if not lose, but get 
get beat up very, very badly in Crown Jewel, you would think. So bad, like, hey, fans, you see, you wanted this match. Now look at Randy. He's out cold. He's out. He's broken, man. He's beaten up. He's been smashed with chairs, smashed with uh, tables and ladders. Look at that. Look at this, man. This is what you wanted. This is what you got. Kind of, you kind of have to have Randy Orton get his ass kicked to a certain extent. Maybe not, you know, out for a long period of time in kayfabe, but he has to get his ass kicked at, at Crown Jewel to sell this narrative that Randy Orton made a mistake by pushing Triple H for this match. So I would book Kevin Owens to win the match, and I would probably book him to destroy Randy Orton to a certain extent. I don't know how long he needs to be out. But to sell the storyline that yes, it was a mistake to do this. The fans wanted it, and the fans you brought this on Randy Orton. If that's the narrative you're going with, you kind of have to book Kevin Owens to kick his ass to a certain extent. We'll see how it goes though. This is a different Kevin Owens. I'm sick of the games. I'm sick of Triple H. I'm sick of the board. I'm sick of all this crap. You're protecting Cody Rhodes, and I'm taking it out on Randy. That's the storyline here, folks. We'll see how it goes. But this is my most anticipated match. It's the best storyline. I'm a story guy. I'm a story guy. I said all the time. This is the best storyline right now. We'll go over it maybe later on this week, Crown Jewel. But most of the show is filler. But um, this doesn't feel like that. This feels like an actual active storyline. So we'll see where it goes. Kip up.